My name is CJ Reynolds. I teach in West Philadelphia. This is not where I was born and raised. On the playground, I did not spend most of my days. West Philadelphia, born and raised. Your teacher, Miss Johnson, contacted myself and a number of other Instagrammers and YouTubers and asked us to make a video about why we think more men should think about teaching. So in helping Miss Johnson, we made this video. We've answered three questions. One, why do we teach? Why we think more men should consider teaching? And three, what keeps us coming back to the classroom every year? Here's our answers. Let's go. Hi, my name is Gary. I'm a third grade teacher at Singapore American School. I am originally from Canada, Nova Scotia. I got into teaching mainly because I love the process of growing. I love watching students figure out what's the best way for them to learn. Personally, I love pushing students to uh, their limits and kind of figuring out um, their threshold in learning and education and watching them go on and succeeding. My name is CJ Reynolds. I have a YouTube channel called Real Rap with Reynolds. I teach in West Philadelphia at what's known as a Title I school, which is uh, like a school in a low-income district. Why did I start teaching? I grew up in a blue-collar family. I didn't even like school. I hated school. I liked my friends, and I was pretty good at making them, and I had fun in high school, but I didn't have any interest ever in becoming a teacher. I thought I wanted to be a carpenter. I made custom furniture. I thought I wanted to be a drummer, playing in different bands, different albums, being a session musician. I thought I wanted to be a priest, to be a clown. You know, clowns don't get a lot of love these days because they're creepy and they have red balloons and they... Someone suggested they thought I might be a good teacher. When I kind of evaluated myself, I realized that being a teacher is really taking all the things I was interested in and being able to put them all to work together. Like I get to care about people. I get to be a fool all day. I get to talk about English, which I love. I build things. You're an entertainer. You're essentially on stage every day. It's the Mr. Reynolds show. And once I started doing it, it was like I knew this was the exact fit for who I was and for the kind of work that I wanted to do in the world. What's going on? Kyle Thane here also known as Mr. Thane to my five and six year olds. Why did I become a teacher? I became a teacher. Back in college, I actually started out as a marketing major. I wanted to make the big bucks. I wanted to, you know, be some sky, some high rise skyscraper in New York City or Chicago or LA, making some commercials and big money kind of stuff. I had a roommate who was going into education to be a teacher. Um, he had started doing this tutoring job for a little bit of money on the side as a student job. He'd go to uh, school and tutor some students on how to read. And I was looking for a student job that was only a few hours a week because I was doing other things involved in sports and whatnot. And I said, what the heck, I'll give it a try. It's going to be easy money, you know, just read, for, read, read with some kid for, for like 30 minutes. Big deal, right? No big deal. And so I, I did that and I f absolutely fell in love with helping kids. The joy that I got from, from helping him and interacting with students and like seeing, wow, this is kind of fun, I, I kind of like this. That's what sparked everything and I did some um, observations of other teachers. I went to a couple different schools and sat in on some rooms and I never looked back. If I'm gonna spend 40, 50 years of my life working somewhere, going to a place and doing a thing every day, I might as well have fun while I'm doing it. I might as well get to enjoy sort of almost staying a kid forever. Getting to have fun in the classroom even when my students aren't there. Oh, James. <sighs> Another reason why I became a teacher is I think always deep down I knew that I just kind of wanted to be a family man. Even when I had my big aspirations of big money and marketing and all that, I think I deep down knew that I, I eventually wanted to have a family and a home and live that dad life, you know? And teaching is a great career path for, for future dads because not only are, do you work during the day, normal day job hours, um, minus having to bring stuff home from time to time, you also get holidays off, you get summer off, snow days, and it's a really good profession to have children with because you, you, you're around. And I know I always wanted to be a stable presence in my kids' lives when I have kids, and I thought, hey, the idea of doing something that's fun, that I love, that I feel like I'm doing something that matters for the common good, and there's other perks like having days off, uh, having summers off, and being around for my future children and family, I, it just it added up and it, it just seemed perfect. When people are like, yo, Parker, why do you teach? The first thing that jumps into my mind is this. 
Every time I step inside my classroom, it's a civil rights act. Fight oppression by teaching lessons to students that give them wisdom to fight back. The youth be the true hope, forget the future, they're the leaders of now. And I suggest adults take notes. We're sick and tired of these institutions bleeding us out. Especially if you trans, gay, black, or you brown. Especially if you a female holding it down. Or if you're mentally ill, deaf, blind, or if you're wheelchair bound. Or don't you try to beat me up, Scotty. I got a purpose to serve. Lyrical church, you can worship the words. And I don't claim to be a god or nothing. I just aim to be the man that my father wasn't. Situated in a space where I can offer something. So I teach so that I can offer something. I teach so that I can offer empowerment. I teach so that I can uplift those that are around me in the classroom and be uplifted by them because my students teach me just as much as I teach them and sometimes even more. I teach so I can shift paradigms. Shift paradigms in a system that currently goes against the grain of a lot of black and brown bodies that are in the spaces that I teach in. So I teach for all those reasons and so much more that I could not fit into just a short clip. But the main thing, the main reason why I teach, if I have to reduce it to one thing, is I teach to be able to be in a position where I can empower others so that they can pass on light as well. Peace. Why did you become a teacher, Mr. Wislocki? I remember the exact moment I decided to become a teacher. Um, so I went to school for media production. I started working on movies. And I remember sitting in the gutter Wow. Of a street, like on the sidewalk. You remember the moment? The moment. It was 2 a.m., 3 a.m., whenever it was. Almost the moment. I just was sitting there in the gutter on a mattress waiting for a scene to be changed around. And um, I thought, man, I am not helping anybody here. Like in the larger scheme of life? In the larger life. scheme of life, I am not having an impact wow. on anything. That's profound. So that was the moment I decided to become a teacher. I have always wanted to be a teacher it all, it came full circle for me. I chose elementary school. For me, it was my kids. My kids were in elementary school at the time. I just really, I, I loved helping out in their classrooms and I loved that age. And I was looking around and like, man, there's no male teachers. Mm -hmm. There's like, I've been to schools where there are literally no mm -hmm. yeah. male teachers in them. And I thought, you know, these kids need to have that male role model in their life. Uh, one of the main reasons why I believe it is very, very important for young men um, to get into education, um, specifically I talk mainly about elementary, is because it is very, very important for males to see that it is okay that males are teachers. I remember when I was in school, I only had maybe four or five male teachers. And I didn't really notice the impact of it until today. And watching some of my students um, really be able to gravitate towards me or gravitate towards someone that kind of looks like them and how it actually encourages them to learn even more. It's very important that um, we as young men um, take education very seriously and teaching as a very serious profession. Why I think more dudes should be teachers. If you think about it, I teach in a school where most of my guys don't have fathers that are around, right? And so I grew up in a house where my dad died when I was four. I had a very difficult relationship with my stepfather. I was always looking for like uncles to connect myself to or male role models. And I think that has had a huge effect on my life. And I wanna have that same kind of effect on the boys that I teach. I teach at an all boys school. I think one of the perks of my job is to sort of like become the male role model that I didn't have when I was younger. I think there's something about seeing someone who's successful, seeing someone who's doing what they love, who's following their passion, who's trying to make a world a better place, and that person looks like you, there's something about that. Now, for the sake of transparency, my school is about 99% African American. So I don't exactly look like my students, but, but that's why I like to also encourage like, if I have kids, students that want to become teachers, I think that's awesome. One of the things I do in my classroom is I bring in a lot of like black male speakers that are street artists, they're DJs, they're businessmen or doctors or entrepreneurs. Because what I want to do is bring people in front of my students that look like them, that have maybe had the same background as them. Because when you can do that, it reminds you that you could do it also. That if this guy's doing it, if he got out of the situation that I'm in, then What's stopping me from doing that also? My boys, my boys, my boys, my boys. So why is it important for my boys, for my males to get involved in this, this art of teaching? Um, I like to call it an art more so than just a profession, like this art, it's an art. Basically because we are, we are like limited in the space. There's not enough male influence. Um, while I speak to the fact that we need to have males, I would specifically say that we need 
black and brown males in these teaching positions uh, because we need that diversity in order to, to, to illustrate uh, the reality of the world that we live in. It helps with perspective. It shakes systems up. We know that the system originally started basically with, with a lot of white minds and bodies. Um, we weren't even in the spaces. So when you look at like the like US educational system, males are needed because we have males to teach and females. And we play a role and have a responsibility to that as well. Um, so I would never say that we need just one uh, gender or one culture or race like in the educational space. We need to have it mixed up. And so having that mixture is where you get that greatness. Having different perspective, uh, multiple mindsets, um, all with the core belief of uplifting youth, um, all with the core belief of empowerment. Um, all working in that direction of greatness. We need males in that spaces to be a part of that. We need to see more of them. As much as we love women teachers, like they need mm -hmm. some kind of male influence in their life. Yeah, absolutely. When I was in a two, three, four special ed combo, best teacher. Two, three, four. Best year of my life education wise. For those kids, a lot of them didn't have any male influences at home. You know, this was just someone that could be a positive light for them and just kind of see that, hey, here's how you do things, you know, as, as, a, as a man, as a, as a boy. Right. These kids need that role model. They just, they do. You know, like the littlest things that you would never consider, they, they don't ever learn that. I think it's super important for uh, other young men to consider coming into teaching for their career choice it's super important for students of all ages to have a positive male role model in their lives and the ability to be that stable foundation for a student being showing up every single day and showing them caring and love and help wanting this to help them do better and to be their friend when they need one that is something that very few jobs give you the satisfaction of being able to do and I, I, a lot of kids don't have a, a father or a positive male role model in their lives and that's something that I definitely wanted to be for someone when I went into teaching and that I think is important. It's important to have diversity in schools. It's important to have different teachers of different races, different genders, different walks of life. So there's always, so students always have someone there in the building that looks like them and they can identify with, even if it's not their teacher, to be able to identify with. You might inspire some of your male students to eventually become teachers and then the domino effect and then there's male teachers everywhere. What brings you back to the classroom year after year? I would say um, the students, obviously. Um, I love starting fresh. I love the idea of getting a group of students of trying to figure out how I'm going to teach them the dynamics and building that classroom community. That's something that really, really excites me every year. I also enjoy uh, professional development. Specifically this year, I've found that I've grown a lot just from my colleagues and my coaches around me. So I love learning and I love figuring out ways to better my profession. Honestly, just again, watching the students get better. What brings me back to the classroom year after year? It is a hundred percent the relationships that I build with students. I think relationships are king. I think that lesson plans come second and kids come first. I work at a school where I have like complete autonomy of, in my classroom. My, I'm allowed to build anything I want. So from the tree that I have back here to the chalkboard paint on the walls to bulletin boards and couches and built-in bookshelves that I have back here to all, you know, I have. A, giant boom box painted on my wall over there. I'm allowed to do whatever I want. My rules in my classroom are my rules. The lessons that I teach are my lessons. I pick the books, I pick the lessons, I pick my elective, I teach an elective, it's the history of hip hop, which is all of my own stuff that I came up with to teach the kids about poetry, about language, or through a lens that I that I know that they're really interested in. It's my job kind of feels like a choose your own adventure in a lot of ways when it comes to lesson plans. But even more than that, it's the connection with the students. I get to be this teacher that I never had growing up. I get to be the male role model that I never had growing up. If I'm honest, I'd say things like winter break and spring break and summer break are great, but I always, always miss my students over those times kids are texting me or DMing me or we're doing like sort of unofficial field trips during that time where I'll take kids out into the city to do different stuff and see things and experience stuff that they wouldn't maybe otherwise normally see. Teaching amongst other things has allowed me to use all the gifts that I possess 
to really connect with students and to do good in the world year after year. And really, if you can have a job like that, if that is something that you're interested in, at least the consideration of teaching, I think, is greater. It's a job that I would never, ever change. I love it year after year. What keeps me coming back every year? And the, the thing about it is, what keeps me coming back year after year is hope, is the hope that I can make some more difference, I can make more change, I can help a new group of students. Every single year I get a completely new group of students. No two years is ever the same. And it's, it's, it's totally different experiences. What worked last year might not work this year. What didn't work last year might work this year. It's totally different. It's always changing. It never gets stale. It's always a challenge. Teaching is a career that gives me purpose and coming back year after year is just a new challenge to face and a new group of kids to get to know and bond with and create memories with. I'm a kindergarten teacher, so I'm some of my students' first ever teacher. Their first ever time in a school is in my classroom. That's an awesome responsibility and an awesome, fun thing to be able to do. And they're, you know, they might not remember everything we did in kindergarten, but they'll remember that weird guy that had the beard and wore superhero t-shirts sometimes and yeah. You know, so it's the relationship. That's why I keep coming back. At the beginning of my career, I would have said, yes, I'm going to be go to admin, become a principal, do all that. Yeah. Um, but, you know, 12 years in, I don't, I don't, I want nothing to do with what? admin. Like, it's just not. So it wasn't the money. It was not the money. Occasion. I am not saying anything bad about the money because I feel like we get paid. Oh, pretty yeah. Good. yeah. And we get comp compensated with this time off because I worked on the private side for many, many years. And let me tell you something. Getting 12 weeks off mm -hmm. a year or 10 weeks, whenever we get, oh, that is yeah. unheard of. For me, it's it goes big. back to when I originally got into this. You know, I needed something to feed my soul. And I, I, I'm telling you, gentlemen, there is nothing that feeds your soul, like nothing more rewarding than helping out these kids. Hey, so what, what brings me back year after year? What brings me back to this art of teaching year after year? This this space that I'm so privileged to be able to be in. Like upfront, the first the first answer to that question is just straight up the youth. Like uh, my students are my heroes. So their energy brings me back. Uh, their stories bring me back. Um, their desires, their dreams, their hopes. They bring me back each and every year I wanna interact um, and be in the space with them to be able to be a part of the growth. I don't even wanna say that I'm the, the influencer of growth. I'm just kinda like the guide on the side. Like I'm actually the lucky one to be with them in the classroom. Um, so it's definitely my students and the energy. Um, and teaching is dope. Like I, I love the whole process. I love thinking about like, the lesson and how I want to communicate that lesson to the students in an interactive way. I'm hip hop, so I love incorporating like like lyricism and beats and um, even film, music video, singing, dance, all of those performance arts I like to incorporate into what I do as a teacher. I come back because of the, first and foremost, the students, the youth, but I come back to teaching each and every year because also because of the creativity, the energy, um, the synergy that's all like wrapped into that. I love the whole process. Even, the, even the, the, the parts that are stressful, like teaching helps me to learn. So I come back in each, each year to teach so that I, I can not only like impart knowledge or guide knowledge, um, but for, to also be able to learn in that process the stuff that stresses you out on a lesson isn't dope It's whack and you have to go back and rethink that but it keeps you sharp It like keeps your mind sharp. It keeps the heart sharp. I'm coming back each and every year for that forever I would probably teach for, if I have bills. I'll teach for free. No doubt. So that's it Here's what I would like to ask you to do after checking out this video First of all, thank Miss Johnson because she like hooked it up and reached out to all of us And we got to make this video for you But also if you ever have any questions if you're thinking about becoming a teacher if you're not sure if you're not sure what you should become if you have feel like you know the, the square peg that doesn't fit in the round hole go ahead and connect with us you know if you saw someone in this video that you feel like you can connect with that you feel like you can ask questions with go ahead you can send us a message on YouTube or on Instagram or on Facebook we're all on all those social media platforms you know we'd love to help you out in any capacity that we could that's it guys good luck peace